this morning it looks a little bit dark because I'm sat in the car but I'm going to make my nana's day today <laughs> well kinda she's not really been able to get out obviously for a long time due to covid and I'm bringing her to my house today I didn't even know I was allowed to do this otherwise I would have done it long before now but because obviously my nana's in our well, we don't see anybody else at all so we don't see anybody just my nana and I take her shopping once a week to get some food in and things like that and I never thought to bring her to my house for the day because I just thought like you weren't allowed to do that and then one of my neighbours was saying that she was taking her children to her mum's house for a sleepover and I was like they're going for, to your mum's house for a sleepover and she's like yeah yeah you're allowed to do that if they're in like your bubble and I was like I didn't even know that so I thought I'd bring my nana up today I did do a quick check online because Chris was absolutely paranoid that we were breaking the rules and that we were going to get you know into trouble so we did a check online and it's like oh yeah you're right she is allowed to so i'm gonna go pick her up right now it's about 11 i've just finished in school work with the girls and bring her to my house for the day what's up guys so i'm really excited today it is just after lunchtime i've just got back from the office and done a lot of work this morning but this afternoon i am free and i've made sure that i'm free and i've got no work going on this afternoon whatsoever because i'm really excited to do a job i've been waiting to do for ages i'm about to make y'all turn off this video but some parts are to finish like the big big like structural and everything else changes to the caravan and I'm gonna finish it today I've been looking forward to this for ages I'm really excited to get it done what's up my boy hello Prini I know you are very jealous whenever we talk to anybody that's not you okay I know you want to talk to <laughs> why have you got any me in your mouth <laughs> get out my face dad get out my face dad <laughs> We've actually not just got one big job to do today, I've got quite a few. The first one I'm starting with, one I'm a little bit nervous about, is replacing the stabilizer on the front of the caravan here with a brand new one here. This actually got damaged when we were being towed in Minglanilla in Spain by the truck that came to pick us up. They didn't have the correct, we didn't know this at the time, but they didn't have the correct ball joint that's meant to go inside there to hook your caravan up properly. And so when we were going, like being driven and towed back to the garage where we camped for a week, this was like rubbing really hard against all the iron against the car and it was just getting really badly damaged. So it makes funky noises when you try and, it works still, it works fine, but it's just, it's just quite heavily like cosmetic damaged and it doesn't pull up and it's, it's not as easy operation. Doesn't work as easy as it should do basically. So we're getting that swapped up just in case there's some you know some damage that's gonna affect its structural stability or whatever going forward in the in the future. And just obviously so that it works proper again. I've been watching some YouTube tutorial videos on how to replace these and they're not like the simplest thing to replace. And if you muck up and mess up on it then it can be turned into a really big job but I think I've got this down. I think I know what I'm doing just about so let's see what happens. Okay, so this is the part where you can make a big, big boo-boo. So this is the part where I need to really remember that YouTube tutorial. So you take the first bolt out, which we've done, leaves a big hole there. We need to take that second bolt out, so this will slide off, and we can put the new one on. But if you take that bolt out without something being in the middle that the bolt's holding, there's a mechanism inside that releases, and to get it back to where it should be, is like a big job, apparently. So this is the part that you must not mess up. So we've got to take a hammer and this little metal rod thing that's supplied with the new kit for the new stabilizer and we got apparently apparently this is what works we got to hammer it through like that oh this is when you all see me cry on camera because I mess this bit up that's right yay okay man so and then that is and basically what you needed to not move is now not moving so that's good man so now we can take off the old stabilizer apparently I really hope we can not quite yet. Boom, yes, okay. We just got back from picking up Nana. She's making herself at home in the living room, playing with Jace and the girls, which is really nice. Jace, Jace seems like he's really confused because obviously there's been nobody in our house at all, like his whole life, I don't think, pretty much. Obviously not when he can remember, obviously. And he's just like, keeps saying, Nana in our house, Nana in our house. I'm like, yeah, Nana's come to play with our trucks. It's just absolutely adorable. 
it's really weird because it's small things like that that you don't that you take for or that we took for granted before and now it's like such a weird novelty just having someone around to the house anyway i'm rambling on i'm gonna make a cup of tea and go and sit with them what are you doing are you having a big bounce is that fun jace jace who's at our house it's big who's at our house oh big. no big it's big jace show me i'm on the police It's a big hill for a little oh, boy. No. It's gonna come. It's gonna come. I'm gonna bounce. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Is that fun? <laughs> you having fun, Isla? <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Are you a big jumper? <laughs> boing, boing. <laughs> is, there a, oh, is there a spider on there? Wow, you brave boy. <laughs> okay, on to job number two. Now that that scary job's out of the way and all finished, now I've got to replace this. This is a, a towing cover for the caravan, so it like protects the front of the caravan when you're towing, obviously. Um, stops rubbish and muck getting in front of the front windows, stops stones and stuff chipping the front of the caravan. Uh, but this one that I've got on the caravan, it's just a cheaper one from Amazon. It was uh, it was 40 pounds from Amazon or something like that before we went. And um, I was completely unschooled before we left for the trip last year about covers like these. And and, um, apparently there are actually like really really special ones out there that are really really good quality ones We have one of those today and it arrived yesterday And so I'm gonna basically take off this old cover wash the whole front of the caravan I'm not washing the whole caravan because that'd be a big old job I'm not for that today I'm just gonna wash the front of the caravan make sure no grit and mucks trapped underneath of this And then I'm gonna fit the new cover and the new covers really really cool I'll talk to you about it like another day properly I'm gonna have a full-on geek out session over it, but not today another day The new covers are really cool because they've got like compartments. So let me just backtrack a minute So let's just say we've just pulled up but a really pretty spot like we're at the bottom of a mountain we've got the most gorgeous scenery out the window we're wild camping for the night but oh man i need to get into this front cupboard which is here on the caravan to turn on the gas now that we've stopped so that the stove works so that the heating works or to get something out of the front to put the legs down so that the caravan's all nice and stable to walk in so i'm gonna basically have to unclip all of this front cover thing lift it up to get to the panel get into the locker underneath now that let me tell you guys we did that so many times last year and then when you're rocking up you're getting ready to go the next day you shut it all up and clip it all back together and then oh you realize you forgot to turn the gas off underneath or you need to get one more tool out or do something in that locker so you've got to unbuckle it all again and let me tell you it is a nightmare it's just one of them things that you just hold things up and make sure it's much more slow totally totally difficult avoid it if you can so we've got one of these really nice expensive covers now for this and it comes with zip compartments so you don't have to mess about unbuckling all of this stuff if you want to get into the compartments in the front you don't even have to mess about if you just want to park up for the night and have your wheel windows out you can zoom zip your windows on this new one without having to take the cover off so it's just proper it's just wicked man it's a win-win every way but i'll talk to you more about them like another day but that's what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna fit the cover and uh, make sure the front's washed and clean and stuff including the a-frame at the bottom before we get on to i said that that was the scariest job but i actually think that the next one's the scariest job it's definitely the coolest job especially if it works if it works then it's just gonna be ah oh, yeah anyway let's crack on So it's a bit later, we've just cleaned up after dinner. Sarah's just gone to go and take her nana back to her house and drop her for shopping and things like that that they got earlier. And we're just getting everything ready for bed right now. I am so cold, I've been outside for so long today that I now sound like I've got a cold, I don't have a cold. I'm just absolutely freezing, so I've got 20,000 layers on, including my OG Afam Varsity hoodie. I love this hoodie, it's so snugly warm, if I do say so myself. in my bathroom again because we had an issue with one of the lights it just needed one of the bulb changes but we've got them we've got brighter lights now so it's in our bathroom it's really bright and i'm like it's weird anyway um, i'm just about to get in the shower get ready for the evening and i start every quick show we're doing my just washing my face and having a little chit chat of the day also guys mum found oh i can't remember if mum got me i can't remember but i've got this new ring earring my ear looks really red 
Yeah, I got a ring and I was really happy about that because I've obviously wanted to have a ring for quite a long time and will manage to get me one or find me one. And so I've had that in the last few days and I've been looking at it like, Cute. Also guys, I want to do a quick reading update because I have been reading all my obviously new books that I've got at Christmas and I've carried on my look series that I got which was the like alien kind of one that I got and I've carried on reading that because it was a really big cliffhanger because I had the first three books and one got me the last three books. So the one I'm reading now is Origin. I've been reading that one but I'm like kind of nervous for the next few books because I've seen some posts and things like that of what happened in them. Like spoiler little things and I'm a bit nervous not gonna lie for the next book. But I've been reading that, probably been enjoying it. Also these products have been doing quite good for my skin. So these products here. I have read them on the blog before but they're working like really really good. Now my face is done it's time for shower time also as you can tell my hair wash didn't last 15 washes but that was because i was meant to use two but as you can tell like the whole hair dye has completely come out so i'm going to have to buy some more i absolutely adore the relationship that these two have <laughs> jason and Emma, absolutely adore each other so down. sweet Pajam! jason you come hang out with daddy okay Oh, you want to come now? <laughs> that wasn't what I was saying two minutes ago. He was like, no, stay with Esme. You need to go get your face washed and get your teeth brushed. Bella's taking you. Hmm? Is it two weeks? Oh, dear. Yeah. You don't tell me go, you little man. You don't tell me go. You don't tell me to go. Are you stealing my toothbrush? I do. Um, you want it on? Okay. It's one of our batteries. Oh, no, yeah, that's the old one. <laughs> do you see it? Clever, do you see it? Clever boy! <laughs> Dada Tin! Dada Tin! Okay! Okay! Ah, <laughs> uh, somebody's all ready for bed with a sleepy head. You've got your phone. It's a very nice phone. I think it might be oh, a remote a toast. control. Yay! What, what darling? A toast! Toast? A toast! Uh, Dad toast! <laughs> I'm not sure what you're saying, my friend. I'm gonna go watch Peppa Pig. Okay! <laughs> <laughs> Terrible, aren't they? They kept me awake, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, Megan, then. Yeah. What did you think, Kyla? Can't tell what they're nice. They're horrendous, watering. they're horrible. My mouth's watering. <laughs> Guys, I just took my nana home and I got these from the garage. I stopped for petrol and I got these. <laughs> They said sour and I thought, oh, they'll definitely keep me awake on the way home. Not that I would drive if I was tired, but you know what I mean. I thought there'd be something to occupy me on the way home. And I almost, <laughs> they were horrendous. I ate one and I almost. <laughs> mm, God, man. They're horrible. I was hoping to film Chris when I got home eating them, but I'd not even walked in the door. He didn't even greet me. He was like, what are they? Oh, can I have some? Took them out of my hand and took a mouthful and literally was like. <laughs> but now he just loves them. I like but they are very sour. <laughs> I'm just not big, not big on super sours. Are you watching Peppa Pig, Jace? It's a little bit loud. Anyway, guys, I just took my nana home. She had a really nice day here today. It was super lovely to be able to spend time with her, but like proper time with her rather than like just running up and down aisles in shops, getting her shopping and things. Um, it was nice for her to just play with Jace and she loved playing with Jace today, didn't she? Jace loved her being here and the girls chatting with the girls and stuff. We had dinner and then I took her home and it was really, really nice. Anyway, just to confirm, I know I did say this at the start of the vlog, but just because I know people like to pick out anything they can, my Nana is in our bubble. She's the only person at all that we see and it really meant a lot to her like mentally to come here today. I think sometimes we forget, well not that we forget, but you know, the older people who have got no one left, like my granddad's passed away, my mum who she was very close to has passed away. She didn't really see her other children. And so she spends day in, day out, day in, day out, day in, day out on her own. And it, you know, she's almost 18. <laughs> I don't know. It's just, it, it meant a lot to her to be able to come up and spend the day with us today. So I think we might do that again next week. Yes, please, please. <laughs> Anyway guys, we are going to end the vlog here because it's been a busy old day and I want to get my pyjamas on and watch some... 
yeah, we're watching Behind Her Eyes, my friend's actually in it, in the in the series, someone who I went to school with. I am um, so it's really cool to be able to watch her. And I knew she was in it anyway because we, you know, we're friends on Facebook and uh, we chat and things like that. So, but it's really cool anyway to be able to see it. Anyway, I'm gonna end the vlog here. Thank you guys all so much for watching. We'll see you back here tomorrow, 5 p.m. Good night, guys. Mm -hmm.